God bless you beautiful people on YouTube and Facebook. God bless you. My name is Pastor Charles Diggins. It's a blessing to you and your family this morning. Hope everyone rested well last night and you didn't get a 911 call uh, or had to make a 911 call or something happened. And those that uh, have something that did happen in their family last night, uh, someone was ill, someone passed away, someone was in an accident, someone was shot, someone was raped, someone was abused uh, physically, uh, whatever was going on, my prayers go out to you. Uh, and I'm being sincere. I love you guys. Hey, well, listen, today we want to talk briefly on putting God first in your priorities. Putting God first in your priorities. Uh, not Pookie, not Ray Ray Nim, Shanika, Mercedes Ben. Uh, you told them your business and they don't give you no help. Um, uh, your mother and, and, and your father is, is, is tired of you constantly asking them for stuff. So this right here, scripture lets me know, 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7. I'm going to read this and amplify. Uh, it said, the Lord told Samuel, I am not looking for their clothes. The, the last fashion, not looking for their clothes or the last fashion or name brand or their look on how tall they are or how short they are or whether they look or excuse me, or whether they work out or not. I am looking at their hearts, motives, intent, and character. So that's what we're going to talk about. It comes out of 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7. And it is, it is important that our outer appearance make a difference. It is nice to, to look good and look clean. Um, it is nice to know where you're going, where you you dress for the occasion. You go out to dinner. You look nice. Uh, uh, church is a little different. Well, do we have to dress up? No, you don't. A lot of people dress up going to church to cover what they did on Saturday night. Mm, let me say that again. A lot of people dress up to cover up what they did on Saturday night. And God is letting us know, I'm not looking at none of that no way. I don't care how many suits you buy. I don't care how many Stacy Adams, Stacy Adams shoes you wear. I don't care how many hats and how many name brands dresses you buy. I am not looking at that. I'm looking at your motives, your your intent, and your character. Now, do you suppose to look nice? Yes, you do. Uh, uh, that that's part of you. There are scriptures for that. Make sure that your outer appearance reflects your inner appearance, and vice versa. You cannot be a Christian and singing in the praise uh, on the praise team and everybody know you that your mouth is really bad when you're not at church. Every word that goes on in your mouth is 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 a, a cuss word. So you have to be careful on how your outer appearance look when you are confessing to be a Christian of Jesus Christ, God himself. Do that make sense? Just a nugget this morning to give to you. It's Friday. I want everyone to be blessed, be safe. It's Father's Day. Blessings to every father out there. And believe me, every man to have a child is not a father. Uh, you study father, that means responsible, taking care of your children. Uh, if you broke up with the woman, you still have a relationship. Honey, don't worry about it. I'll take care of them. Uh, yeah, you and George, y'all cool with me. But I'll come and get the kids and y'all can have some, uh, some me time. Y'all you know, get together. That's the way men have to do. Not no bashing, talking about I'm ready to, ooh, I'm ready to see my baby. Well, it's 11 o'clock at night. That's a booty call. That, that, you, know, you know, that baby is three years old. That baby is in the bed. Let's get our priorities straight, fathers. And here's the thing. Fathers, be a father. And that's teaching your sons and daughters how to be a good person and how to respect each other and respect elders. That's a father's job, getting this house in order. There's enough food in there, enough cleaning materials for the woman to keep the house clean, making sure she's happy, taking care of her, taking care of the children, working on her car, getting it ready for her to go to work. That's a man's job, you know, making decisions. You bet, no, 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 you're not wearing that out of here. Mm -mm. Where's your mother at? Vera, you see what she got on? 
you better get upstairs and take that off. You're not going to that party with that on. And if you if I if I hear you changing clothes somewhere, there's gonna be some jump off. I'm gonna tell you that now. That's a father. Get out of that bed, boy. You 16. I don't care if you go outside and dig a hole somewhere. Go make something happen. Get a job. Let's go. Let's roll. That's a father. Don't worry about it, honey. I got the bills. I got them this week. You put your money up. No, I'm telling you. For real, honey, you put your money up. I don't mean to preach on Father's Day. I'm not a I'm not a calendar pastor. I preach what God give me to get. But I will throw a nugget in there. God give me the green light to do that. Uh, so it's Father's Day. Uh, the scripture is 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7. I go a little deeper into it. A lot of people are, do we have to dress up? No, you don't have to dress up. Just have a good heart coming. That's all you have to do. I'm not looking at your clothes. But it's nice to dress up. Hey, you feel better. The songwriter said, every woman loves a sharp-dressed man. The majority of women do. So, I've said that to say this. Uh, you guys be blessed out there. Um, and number one, hey, listen, I got a couple ideas I want to do in South Bend. And, 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 and here I go. Um, I want you to cash app. Uh, you can find me at uh, Pastor Charles Diggins. It's real simple. If you trust in me, do a background check on me. I am what I say. And if I don't say it, I'm not going to do it. And if I say it, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm thinking about doing something, uh, especially when my church get back open. I'm going to take uh, one person, one single mother, single father, anybody that need help. It all depends. It may be me, more than one person at one time. But I want you to come to my church. I'll be letting people know when I'm open. And when you have a problem, you're a single mom, few children, uh, we want to provide you with a job, resources to a job. I have a couple of business inside of the church. Uh, we have daycare in the church as far as uh, to give you some good me time while you go get your hair, feet, and nails done. And just say, my God, what a break. We have good people that can uh, take care of your child while you um, go get your hair, and feet, nails done or go shopping or whatever you desire to do. Uh, same with the fathers, the single fathers. Uh, we'll be working with the men on different stuff. Uh, but, you know, all that takes money. You know, and, and I ain't tripping about no money. My bills is paid. I haven't got a disconnect notice. Let me look over here. Uh, no, ain't nothing saying. Come on, somebody. So I ain't worried about nothing getting cut off. Hey, and I've learned if the lights get cut off and sometimes they get cut off and the bills is paid, just something happened and you don't have no lecture. So I've learned to go to my drawer and get that little battery light out. Come on, somebody. No stress and no chaos. And that's what we're not going to do this weekend. Tell somebody if they going through some negative to change it and turn it into positive. If you see a problem, fix a problem. Love on each other and um, always uh, put God first in your priorities. That's what we're talking about. Putting God first in everything you do. And I guarantee, I guarantee it'll change your life and whoever practiced this. God bless you all.